And now we'd like to welcome back to our newscast candidate for governor, former Congressman Neil Abercrombie. Sir, thank you so right much there. for being back. Really appreciate it. Can you feel that energy? I can feel that energy, <laughs> that excitement there. Uh, I, I, it's official. Oh, yeah. It, Neil, uh, your candidate is now officially in the race. Yes. Mufi Hanneman has stepped down as mayor of Honolulu. Right. What does this mean for the Neil Abercrombie campaign? Does that change anything at well, all? Yes, the, the mayor has officially stepped up and said, let's do an audit on the Department of Education. That's how much energy and focus he's going to put on it. You just had a story out here about bad grades for the education system, lack of confidence in the education system. The legislative session starts in January. I'm ready to go on day one. And the mayor says, let's do an audit. I mean, that tells you where it's at, at right there. Uh, the, the governorship is merely uh, available as far as he's concerned. It's a stepping stone towards in his political career. You need somebody who's going to be concentrating on an issue like education, be there for the duration, and who understands something about it. I'm the only educator running for governor. Yeah, it's interesting that you say that about it being a stepping stone, because the uh, Hanneman campaign did say that they promised they'll, they'll finish the first four years of a term. <laughs> no, they which, was, which was interesting <laughs> that they had said no. th the first four years of a term, not saying, you know, as far as there's a re-election re or something yeah. like that. Do you really think that he's using this as a stepping stone? Is oh, this course. a legitimate issue? Uh, this is a, uh, this election is a referendum on leadership and, and, and leadership you can trust. Uh, he always qualifies this thing. I expect to do it as of now, of this moment. Uh, everybody knows uh, he said over and over again what he wants to do. That's fine. That's his ambition. If that's what he wants to do, that's fine with me. But the voters and the taxpayers and the citizens of, of Oahu and the rest of the state are under no obligation to advance his political career. We need to concentrate on educational excellence, on energy independence, on environmental sustainability, food security, and you need somebody who's going to be there and see it through. Let's, uh, let's talk about uh, something that's probably got Democratic insiders uh, very, very nervous right now. And we're looking at two very strong candidates for governor on the Democratic Party, uh, from the Democratic Party. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a real potential that this fight could really tear apart the party and perhaps uh, leave whoever survives weakened when they face Duke Iona in the Republican Party. Are, are there any moves within the party themselves, any insiders saying, hey, guys, let's just talk the issues, let's, let's, uh, let's yeah. cooler heads prevail? Me. Let's talk about issues. You know, I've, I've got my folder right here full of the issues. What you're going to get now, I'm the only one who's actually put out position papers, early childhood education, education, energy, uh, technology, small business, uh, entrepreneurship, actually have position and guiding principles out there. You're going to get a laundry list uh, uh, from the other guys. And as far as, as tearing the Democratic Party apart, when I'm nominated on September 18th, a wave of optimism, I think, is going to sweep across the state as they realize we have a vision for the future. We have the energy and the focus and the experience of someone who's actually going to take us through to that vision. Well, what's it going to take to beat Mufi Hanneman? Here is a candidate who's been the mayor the last six years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's done a lot of good things for the city. Uh, the rail is, is on target, though it's not exactly where he wanted it to be right now. He is a very formidable opponent. Yeah. And... Uh, on the vast majority of the issues, you both agree? No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, on the vast majority of the issues, he doesn't say anything about the issues. He takes uh, as many sides as he can. I have no idea what his positions are on virtually anything because he has not put anything out. He's pretended that he was not running for governor. The only person who actually has positions out there, taken stands, is Neil Abercrombie. So. Uh, as, as far as the mayor is concerned, uh, he's left the city in a shambles. Uh, the, the sewer fees the, uh, are, are going to go sky high. People are going to pay the biggest tax raise in history just on the sewer fees. The EIS is, is in a shambles because he's fighting with the governor. He talks about collaboration and working with people, yet he fights with Donovan Dela Cruz. He, uh, he blames Tata Poe for the, the trash pile up on, 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 on Oahu, and the rail has not moved forward because he insults and fights with, 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 with the governor. So as far as the record is concerned, it's a broken record. I'm concentrating on leadership that's going to be here for the future. And uh, the sewer fees issue, though, is an issue that's been haunting the city for decades, even before Mufi Hanneman became mayor. It was something that the Harris administration was accused of putting off, so I don't know if you can put all the blame on the Hanneman administration in that particular case. And as far as being combative with opponents, some could say that uh, you have a history of also being combative with people who disagree with There's you. There's dif a difference between being combative and actually accomplishing something. Uh, has the trash moved? Has the rail moved forward? Has the sewer uh, uh, outlet situation been resolved during the six years he had the responsibility for it? No. So the question then becomes, what is the vision for the future? 
what is the position being taken and who's committed to doing it every one of the issues that i've just named every one of the issues that needs to be addressed needs to be addressed for the long term you need to make that commitment i'm not running for any other office because i realize that if you run for governor you have to be committed to it that's the only way the taxpayer is going to get full value and also we should mention the trash issue has been delayed uh, by the federal government as they wait for approval mm -hmm. right there uh, sir thank you very much i believe that we'll be having you on our newscast a few more times before the uh, september why primary? don't we have these little mini debates uh... here uh... on the news i'd be happy to do that the mayor's already run away from one debate he just wants to do commercials with laundry lists why don't we come right here on on tv pick a subject like you just did and do a point counterpoint well well uh, the uh candidate for governor former mayor of honolulu mufi hanneman will be on our newscast uh, tomorrow and uh let's I'll do pose it that together. question to him let's I'll do, pose, pose that the question to him, to him. Say, let's have these debates we can do point counterpoint uh, we can uh, express what we need to, to say to the people, and let's do it face-to-face, -face and let's do it. There's about nine weeks, ten weeks to the end of the campaign. He's just jumping in at the last minute. Surely he can't be afraid of, of, of someone who's retiring to a, a, a position. Uh, surely he can't be afraid of, 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 of actually engaging face-to-face -face on the issues. And we'll have to leave it right there. Uh, once again, Democratic candidate for governor, Neil Abercrombie, speaking his mind, as he always does, sir. Thank you for being here. And, Happy uh, Wolfie Hannon will be here tomorrow at about this same time, so please uh, stay tuned for that.